plastics. It's a boon as well as a bane. Boon because it saves billions of trees and bane because the millions and tons of plastics choke our river, pollute our ocean and the microplastics are even in our food. With millions of tons of plastic entering our oceans annually and plastic waste piling up on land, the need for effective recycling solutions has never been greater. One of the biggest problems for plastic is the plastic packaging. So basically there are three types of plastic packaging that we use in our everyday life. These are the P plastics that we use, see here, that's the polythene. Then there are MLP plastic like this lace packet here. And the third one and the most difficult to recycling is this multi-layer acetic plastic because it has three layers, aluminium, plastic and paper. But why are we talking about multi-layer packaging waste? Here is the number. Uh, today, as on date, uh, uh, we produce about uh, 15 billion packs a year and uh, uh, nearly 20% of it is collected back and recycled and rest remains in the environment. We are here at the Uflex facility in Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. This company which is into packaging is doing a unique effort where it is trying to use enzymes to delaminate these plastics and then recycle it. What is aseptic plastic and what is it used for? Basically, this packaging is uh, very good for packaging of food and beverages. So it, it didn't spoil. So it will give you the very good shelf life, six months, one year and the anti-counterfeit also. Because this packaging, no one can make very easily. And there is, there is very easily to transport also because these are very lightweight packaging. We are using paper, we are using aluminum foil, we are using plastic. So it's a deadly combination for recycling. You cannot recycle all these things because paper you cannot melt. Aluminum can be melt, but it is very high temperature and polyethylene melts very low temperature. So to do to these things, the recycling is not very easy. Then how do you recycle acepto packaging? The help of a special kind of enzymes. There is a special enzymes. So we are putting these enzymes with this uh, shredded material and we are getting paper pulp and aluminum file and P separately. So here we are we are getting two type of products. One is paper pulp and one is aluminum file and polyethylene. So let's go inside and see how this thing is done. Okay, first you see, these, this is the acepto laminate. So we are getting this laminate from outside, from NGOs also, from our plant also. So we get this uh, acepto laminate, then we put on the one conveyor. At this conveyor, we will start uh, segregating any foreign particles, any foreign parts here. So they just uh, uh, segregating these things here. Then it goes into the shredder. There is the shredder. So after shedding, we are getting this type of small, small shredded material. This is again, there is a one conveyor and by using this conveyor, there is a second conveyor is there. This is a screw type conveyor. So by screw type conveyor, it is transport. Material is going into the SC pulper. This is hydro pulper. We are doing pulping with the uh, one um, rotating wheel and uh, some enzymes. So we are putting enzymes here. So it takes 20 minutes to separate out paper with aluminum foil and polyethylene. We have some enzyme lodges. They are developed this enzyme especially for us. And we are using that enzyme here. Here enzyme, we are putting enzymes. Then we are giving 20 minutes to just enzyme absorbed by this uh, shredded material. Once enzyme goes into the uh, paper, inside the paper, the cellulose reacted with the uh, uh, enzymes and it is separating out from the aluminum foil and polyethylene. So by this separation, this separation is very, very smooth sep separation. So th there is no breakage of the fibers of the paper. So you are getting very, very clean, very, very good uh, quality 
fibers by using this enzyme. So you have seen, it is goes into the SC pulper. There is an enzyme and uh, water. So now it's separated out. Almon uh, aluminum foil, polyethylene separated out with the uh, paper pulp. So all the impurities are removed in this process and all the pulp goes into the stop chest tree. From stop chest tree, we take this pulp to the our uh, screw press. At this screw press, we remove the water from the pulp and we get solid pulp from there. And we, then we pack in big bags, in 1200 kg bags. In this bag, we get around 500 kg of pulp. So this is the whole process to get the pulp. This process have two uh, products. One is paper pulp and other is aluminum file and polyethylene. This paper pulp can be used in many applications. Major application for us is we are uh, giving it to the paper mills. They are making paper and they are selling again to us. So we are making laminates by using this paper. So we are doing the full circularity with these things. And the other product I already told you is polyethylene and aluminum foil. This aluminum foil and polyethylene have polyethylene product have 70% polyethylene and 30% aluminum foil. So polyethylene is very good to melt. So it is making a sheet is not a big problem with this. And the strength of sheet is also very good from aluminum foil and polyethylene. We made this entire conference hall. And other products also we made this, like this uh, organizer. This, uh, this is a thermoform. This thermoform plus stitching is there. And this is a very good product, very good strength. It, it will not break. So what we can do, you can laminate uh, with your own logo, brand, anything. All of this cannot happen if we don't sort our plastics correctly. And how can this happen? So if you see, uh, if, if you divide the globe into two halves, the Western world, they have been using automatic, uh, they have been using technology to automatically segregate and sort the waste. In our part of the region, eastern side, other than China, people still do it manually. You know, India does it through rack pickers. It's, it's not an ideal solution. The, the rate at which our consumption is growing, we also need to go in for automatic segregation and use of technology to segregate the municipal solid waste and segregate out the, the, the recyclates. You know, so this is very important. Uh, Something needs to be done in this area, the urban land bodies, because these are big investments. The industry will not come forward to invest in a collection and recycling uh, sorting technology. This investment like uh, uh, in, uh, in Noida, where we generate about 500 tons per day of a municipal solid waste, uh, we would need an investment of nearly 300 crores. So if you talk about uh, 250 or 300 smart cities, uh, we talk about uh, uh, a handsome investment which can only be done by the urban land bodies, municipalities, townships or the law. Today the other question is even if, as I said, 20, 25 or 30 recycling infrastructure, recycling plants come up, but they will starve for waste because uh, there is no sorting technology. The, sort, the current sorting technology or using rack pickers will not be sufficient to feed these recycling plants. And what can government do to help increase more plastic recycling? So uh, one motivation or one incentive uh, uh, which comes through CSR will go a long way in creating a circularity for the for the country. Also the GST benefits uh, which can be offered for the recycled pulp because right now the recycled pulp is also considered as a finished good and uh, the, the same amount of GST is charged on it. So plant owners have money. The, the, the Fritoles and the, and, the, and the PNG and the Fruity and these people have money. So unless they come in and uh, invest in this technology and recycling uh, uh, infrastructure, the entire country's littered aseptic packaging material cannot be picked up and recycled. So, and they will only come if it is properly, they are properly incentivized. So as we wrap up, remember that every innovation big or small, will take us to a greener tomorrow. Every piece of material recycled here will be one less harming the planet. With Swagatam Chakravarti, this is Saurav Kumar for ET Online.